Bulldogs. Thank you so much for joining me for chapel today. I'm so excited that you are here. Today we're going to be talking about an attitude of gratitude. But before we jump into our chapel, let's go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. If you guys could bow your heads and close your eyes, we'll get started. Dear Lord, thank you so much for the ability to come together today and to worship you. Lord, we are so thankful that just this past Sunday on Easter Sunday, that uh, we are reminded that he is risen and that in Jesus we have hope. And no matter what is going on, Lord, you are in control. And we are so thankful for that. Just be with us as we continue to go through our week and help us be the light that shines for you. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy the music and the message. And we'll be back in just a little bit. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention to the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for his kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen and coming again, with life and liberty to all who believe. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God.
God of creation, there at the start, before the beginning of time. With no point of reference, you spoke to the dark and fleshed out the wonder of And as you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born in the veins.
Darkness tries to rule over my bones When sorrow comes to steal the joy I own When brokenness and pain is all I know Oh, I won't be shaken No, I won't be shaken Cause my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My feet doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My feet doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. Your shame no longer has. 
right, I hope that you enjoyed the music. Today we're going to talk about having an attitude of gratitude. And it's so important that we choose to have the right attitude about things. It's very easy to focus on the things that may not be going our way and forget to be thankful or grateful to God for the things that he has been blessing us with. So today I want to share with you a verse. And it is 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. It's so important here that he says, it, that the Bible says, in all circumstances. So not just when things are going your way, but when you're having that horrible, very bad, no good day, that we stop and think about not just the things that went wrong, but stop and think about the things that went right and the blessings that God has given you. So I wanted to talk about some of the things that I am thankful for. And you can see there at the top is a picture of all of you guys. And you're kind of there at the top of the stage there. Um, this is during Veterans Day. And I am so thankful for all of my BCS students and all of their families. And um, I love this picture with all of you in it. If you go down, you can see there's a picture of my dog, Cato. And he is looking at me like, why is this crazy lady taking my picture? But I am very thankful for Cato. Next, you can see a picture of my girls. That is Regina and Whitney. And these are my international students that live with me during the school year. And I'm thankful for them. And next, you see a picture of my husband and James and I um, at a football game. And I'm very thankful for my boys. And then you see a picture of James and my daughter, Caitlin. And in this picture, um, Caitlin is 10 years older than James. But in this picture, he realized he was finally taller than her. And he is very excited. So I am thankful for both James and Caitlin. So it's important sometimes to think about all of the things that God has blessed us with when things are not going our way. There's some research that I wanted to share with you to kind of start to put all this in perspective. If the global population, if all of the world, if we could just shrink it down and make it a small village of about 100 people, yet keep all the existing ratios. So the same percentage of North Americans, the same percentage of males, all of those things. If we kept the percentages the same but just had 100 people, what would our world look like? And I think that's so interesting to look at. So um, there would be 60 Asians. 13 Africans, 12 Europeans, 9 South Americans, 5 North Americans, and 1 Oceanian. So out of 100 people, only 5 would be North Americans. And I think that's interesting because so much of our perspective of life is from life in North America, which is a kind of a privileged life. So it's interesting to know we would only be 5 people out of 100. There would be 50 females and 50 males, so even. There would be 80 non-whites and 20 whites. There would be 33 Christians and 67 non-Christians. And I think this is um, a key point as well, because we always talk about how our job as Christians and is not done in spreading the gospel. And this kind of just brings that um, back into view. Uh, only about a third of the hundred would be Christian. When you look at that 100 people, 20 would earn 90% of the money. Now think about that. Only 20 people would earn 90% of the money. That means 80 people would only have 10% to share. That's not 10% each. That's 10% to share. So that's pretty interesting. 25 would live in poor housing. 17 would not be able to read. 33 would experience malnutrition or a lack of good food. They would be hungry. And only four would have a college education. Now, when you look at that, you think, well, all of us are pretty blessed that we live in houses. Um, we all have good housing. Um, we all can read. We all have plenty of food. None of us are malnutritioned. And we're all going to have the ability to kind of make what we want to out of our lives. So when you look at this, um, we have a lot to be thankful for. And it's important that we focus our attitude on the things that God has blessed us with. 
instead of focusing maybe on the things that we're not blessed with. So I encourage you over the next few weeks, as I know it's hard to be home. Listen, it's hard for me to be home. I am ready to be back at school. I'm ready to see all of you. I know you're all ready to see all of your friends. But we have a choice to make here. And we can focus on the things that are not going our way, or we can focus on the things that God has blessed us with. And it's very interesting if we focus on our blessings, the things that God has given us, we will be happier. And so as we know that this time of e-learning and self-isolation and social distancing, this is just temporary. But the idea of focusing on the positives will is a lifelong lesson that if we choose to right now focus on our blessings will help us learn lessons that will help us throughout the rest of our lives. So I challenge you all to think about the positives each day. And I want you to think about, maybe even make a list of the blessings that you have in your life. And sometimes when we get mad or frustrated or feel like nothing is going our way, we can go back to that list and remember just how truly blessed we are. There are a lot of things that I'm thankful for. First, I am thankful for life. I am thankful for my family and friends' lives. I am also thankful that God keeps all the teachers, principals, students alive. God keeps us alive through this virus. I am thankful to be able to do schoolwork from home. It is a blessing. To finish, I want to say a prayer. Lord, I thank you for life, and thank you for protecting us with your blood. Thank you for, thank you for keeping us strong. Thank you for protecting us from this virus. Thank you for letting, and thank you for keeping us to have faith. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Um, dear God, thank you for my mom and dad and sister, and, um, and thank you for my food and toys and everything. Praise the Lord. Thankful for God. I'm thankful for God. shelter God provides for us. Bye! Hello, we're the Shartners, and we are going to say some of the things that have been good during quarantine. We like going, spending time going and finding nature. Going and finding things in nature? I feel like I get a lot more alone time to spend with God. Mm. Spending time yeah. with the Family. Spending time with the family, okay. More fun time. <gasps> All right, say bye. We miss you guys. Bye, bye. we miss, we miss you, you guys. guys. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the chapel over attitude of gratitude, and I hope that you can keep the right attitude as we move through the rest of our e-learning time. Don't forget that this is Teacher Appreciation Week, and if you haven't seen the emails or the Facebook ads, um, make sure that you um, make that you let your teacher know that you're thankful for them during this Appreciation Week. I hope that you guys have a great rest of the week, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye bye.